Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at creating a photo mosaic by using a bunch of images. So we're going to import these images in bulk, put them together and uh, make a mosaic out of them. So last time I showed you how to make a mosaic using about four different images and using a pattern. But in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at doing this with many different images. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we have the photo that we want to create a mosaic from. So we're going to go to File New and I'm just going to start off with a preset file size. Uh, let's go with a US paper so it's 8.5 by 11 inches not pixels. Make sure your resolution is at 300 and I've already calculated everything here so you're going to really have to play around with the dimensions and such to get this to work just right. So 300 resolution, 8.5 by 11, white, click OK. Now you can use different sizes, but again you'll have to kind of do some guesswork figuring it out. So now that we have this, we can go back to this image, click and drag it to there, or we can go to select all, edit, copy, then go to the new document here, go to edit, paste, here we have the snowman. We can uh, hit control, command T, size it down a little bit and position it to where we want it to go. Right around there should be fine. Okay, so here we have this. This is all prepared, ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we need to open up our folder with all the images we wanna use. Here I have roughly 200 images, or exactly 200 images, and I want to use you know mostly all of them in this photo. I believe the way this works out we're only going to be using 198 so as long as you don't need a particular amount of photos in there or just a majority of them this will work. So open up the first image here in your folder so I'm going to click and drag that in. So here we have the first image that we're going to use within the snowman. I know it's not very relevant to the theme you know it's a snowman and here we have a fish tank but this is just for demonstration purposes. So now what we want to do is we want to record a new Photoshop action. So we're going to go to Window, Actions, Alt F9, open that up. And here we have the area where we can record all the actions. And so we're going to come down here and click Create a New Action. We're going to name this action Mosaic Tiles. And click Record. So now we're recording and we need to change the image size. So we're going to go to Image image size and size this down. We need to size it down by inches so I'm going to go with the width at 1 but before I do this I'm going to make sure constraint proportions is checked. So 1 inch by 0.667 because I want to try my best to keep the photos landscape. Now what we're going to do is uncheck constraint proportions. Let's see the number here. Let's type it in 0 0.667 and what that's going to do is just make sure that all the images are going to be landscape and you know stretched out. So if they're a portrait, they're going to be stretched out. Or you could always go in and rotate those images before running the action on them so that they're rotated on their side. We're going to do this so that the images will remain their same size, but just you know a lot smaller. Some some video will show you how to do this, but by stretching the images down to like one inch by one inch, you know, a perfect square. We're going to try to keep the images constrained. So now that we have that, we're going to change the resolution to 300. And let's change this to bicubic sharper best for reduction. And we should end up with a width at 300 and a height by 200. Click OK. And let's see the image size action here. So just to make sure with one inch, Okay, height is done and 300 by keeping sharper. So that recorded just fine. Now that we have that, we're going to go to File, Save As, and we're going to save it in this Tile Constrained folder that I created, just like that, JPEG. Save. We can save it as a full file or you can bring it down since they're going to be smaller. You don't have to bring them down. I'm just doing so, so everything processes a little bit faster. Click OK. So there we have our save and then we can just close it and it'll record all that. So now you should have mosaic tiles, image size, save and close. You can stop recording now. And here we have our mosaic tiles action. I'm just going to go ahead and collapse that window there. 
So now we're going to go to File, Automate, Batch. And what we want to do is we want to batch render all of these images down to 1 inch by 0.667, just like this image is. So we can do that by coming here. Let's play the Mosaic Tiles action, the one we just created. Choose the Source folder, which is correct. And then we're going to choose the Destination folder, um, Tile Constrained. Click OK. So there we have our destination folder set up and uh, we can override action save as commands. Click OK and let Photoshop run through each image. If you open up the folder you should see progress. Each image should be 300 by 200 pixels and just give it some time to work depending on how many images you have. You know if you have less than 200 images then you'll need to readjust everything to make it work. Again, if you find a better way of doing this in Photoshop, please let me know. I'm interested in seeing that because I've worked a while trying to figure out the best way of doing this. And this is the way I was able to you know, figure out how to do it. Um, so again, if you find a better way in Photoshop. I know there are programs out there. I'll show you a program after this video that'll make mosaics for you. But you know, I'm interested in seeing how to make it all in Photoshop with a bunch of photos. So I'm going to pause this real quick and come back. I think I might go fly a kite. It's pretty windy outside. Um, 70, 70 degrees right now. It's pretty nice. All right, so I'll be back. All right, so it's done. Yes, it's done. How exciting. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to move this folder on over and we're going to run another action here. We're going to go to File, Automate, Contact Sheet 2. So now you may be going to File, Automate, Contact Sheet 2 yourself and you're not finding it. Well, this is a, a an optional plugin that you could get. It comes with Photoshop when you buy it, but you can get it at the link in the description. Just download it and put it right in the plugin folder for Photoshop and you'll, you should have it. Plugin or presets, one of those. And contact sheet too, so we're going to click on that and uh, we're going to browse for the folder that we want to go through, the tile constrained folder in the mosaic. And we're going to choose a document at a width of 10 and a height of 11. So that's what worked for these images. And with the resolution at 300 pixels per inch, RGB flatten all layers. We can check that. We're going to make the thumbnails go across first, 11 by 18. And we're not going to use auto spacing, vertical zero, horizontal zero, uh, rotate for best fit, not checked, and use file name as caption, not checked. So all these settings just as you see here and click OK. And Photoshop's going to go through another run process. As you can see here, it's taking each of those images, opening up and putting them next to each other on this document. So you see they're going nicely right next to each other. And these are all the images, one right after the other, going on this sheet. So you can either, you know, sit here and stare at it or uh, go watch uh, American Idol off the DVR from last night if you want. I need to do that. That's the only part of the season I watch, the beginning, you know. Once the auditions are over, that it's over for me. I don't. And then at the end, I'm like, oh, they won, okay. But uh, those auditions, they should they should all put they should just throw on all the all the bad ones. Have the good ones on a special day like Sunday, but all the bad ones are on Wednesday or something. You know, I don't know why I'm talking about that. Well, well American Idol. All right, so this is just about done. I hopped into my time machine and came back out, and here we are. So, uh, you know, a few seconds later, I use the time machine to go forward in time just, you know, three seconds sometimes. So it, it created another one with two extra images. You know, we don't really need those images. Or we could use them to fill up some gaps here. As you can see, we have a white gap there. And uh, sometimes this this contact sheet thing just, you know, just doesn't, doesn't want to cooperate. So, you know, you can go in there fix it up just like that got that space filled in and that's just a dark okay that's just a dark picture 
that's fine. So here we have the contact sheet. We can just merge these two layers together by hitting Control or Command E and drag it in to this layer or go to Select All, Edit, Copy again. Fit it in there. You could fit it in however you want. You can even size it down if you need to. And then all you simply need to do is change the blending mode to anything. Lighten, Overlay. Oh, let's try Overlay. And there we have our mosaic created by a bunch of different photos in Photoshop, just like that. So this was the way of doing it in Photoshop. You don't really have many options unless you can do a lot of guesswork and figuring stuff out. If you're good at math, you know, you could figure out the dimensions and what size each image needs to be and how many in each column and row. Or if you don't want to use Photoshop at all, you can use a program called Andrea Mosaic and you can create square tiles, rectangle tiles, DSLR, movie, etc. There's even a tutorial where you can see how to do it. I did a DSLR tiles. And all you do is put in the main image that you want to use, set up all these settings, and then load up all the images you want to use to you know be on top of the main image. Click create and it'll create it all for you, you know, just in a few seconds. And I found this to work really good. It's uh, actually credit where, so you'll need to credit Andrea Mosaic every time you upload an image on the internet that you created with this program. Uh, you need to include a reference to Andrea Mosaic, so just you just have to credit them if you ever make anything in this. It's a lot easier, as you can tell, but uh, you know that's how you can make a photo mosaic in Photoshop. So if you have an easier way, please let me know. I'd be happy to see that. Uh, we also now have a. I guess you can say community or forum that you can join at the sites robertsproductions.net slash forum and here you can you can join it and ask questions about anything you know I might be adding some more forums or uh, topics I guess you call them you know just a little place where we can all get along ask me questions and I'll check it and try my best to answer those so there you have it if you follow the dimensions I used so thanks a lot for watching, I hope this helped, and I'll see you next time.